Hi there, this is Sophie from The Makers. Um, I'm coming to you pre-recorded from 2020. Um, I hope um, 2021's going well for you all at home. Um, I'll be thinking of you. I'll probably um, look a little bit different by now, probably have a couple more bags and a few more grey hairs um, once this baby's born. Um, but I've um, made this video so that I can show you how to make the wings for your dragon. Now, while you're watching the video, have a little think about um, your dragon because I, I chose a, a dragon because it's quite um, a protective creature. So there, there might be protecting gold or protecting some special layer or maybe they're protecting a person or um, some other treasure. So what, what might your dragon be protecting? And that's our competition this month um, on Every Wanna Maker. Um, so have a little think and um, get your photos of your dragons in with your um, what they're protecting as well. So for your wings, there's a few things that you will need. So you've got your Angelina fibre in your box. Um, it's lovely stuff, it um, gets absolutely everywhere. We always say Angelina's fibres for life, not just for Christmas. Um, I even found some in my compost heap. So. <laughs> <laughs> see where you might end up finding it so you've got your um, angelina fiber and you will need to spread it between um you can use sheets of um a4 paper or or um like baking paper sprinkle um some of your um fibers about sort of on on a4 paper you want to make it about that size on the paper and then you iron it so you iron it on a, if you've got a, a hot iron, um, iron it on a quite a low setting. Um, if you iron it too hot, sometimes the colours in the Angelina fibre go quite coppery. So you want to iron it on a low setting. If that hasn't, if that doesn't work and doesn't bond the fibres, then um, turn the setting up and iron it again. And sometimes you have to turn um, your paper with your fibres wedged between over and iron the other side as well to make sure it all bonds together nicely. So here's one I made earlier, Blue Peter moment. Um, this is the Angelina fibre once it's been ironed into a sheet, and you can see it's it's quite it's like paper. You can you can cut into it and you can make different shapes. So I'm going to um, cut the wings out freestyle. If I cut um, some of my Angelina fibre. So I'm going to fold it in half. What you can see, some, sometimes this happens where a few of the fibres just don't um, bond together. It's best um, just cut them off if you get those. So I'm going to fold this in half so I can make two wings at once. There, there are templates in your instructions to, to make the wings, so you can use those as well. Um, you can trace it onto a piece of paper and cut out the template and lay it on your Angelina fibre if you want. But I'm just going to freestyle this one. So I'm cutting the top of the uh, wings here, like that. And then I'm going to cut that kind of jagged part underneath the wings. So already I've got Angelina fibre everywhere. It's a sign that, that you're having fun. <laughs> so I've cut out my Angelina fibre. Um, I have pre-wrapped my pipe cleaner. So you do that, um, it's all in the instructions, but you basically hold the wool tightly against the pipe cleaner, turn the pipe cleaner so that the wool wraps tightly against it. And add a little bit extra onto here to show you. So you're teasing out the fibres there, lay them against the pipe cleaner and you're keeping tension on the wool here while you turn the pipe cleaner and that's the easiest way to keep a nice tight finish. Once you get to the ends of the fibres make sure you wrap all the way to the very very last few fibres even if there's just one fibre left that's the one that holds the other, all the others in place. And you 
Nico. So I'm just going to check um, my wings will fit. So I'm going to fold the wings in half like that. And then I'm going to bend them over my cut out wings. So same on the other side. You want a little bit in the middle where there's no Angelina fibre ideally because that's where you're going to attach it. So bending it, same on the other side. And you want to, you see how that's not quite lining up with both wings at the moment. You want to get your um, wings so they're all lining up nicely. And for the next um, step, I'm going to put the wings onto a bit of plastic. It could be a um, plastic bag or any kind of like reflective, um, like shiny surface that the glue is not going to stick to. So I'm going to put them on there. I'm going to make sure this is fitting nicely. So just gently bending it till it all sits nicely in place. Like that. And you will you'll put um, something heavy on top of this. You'll put another layer of plastic or something um, shiny. Put a heavy book on top and it will sort of sandwich it. So if it's not quite touching um, the the wings or the, the table don't worry you will be squishing it down so once you've got your um, wings bent take your glue it's best if you've got a glue with a small nozzle like that then you can squeeze out just a line just along the top of your wings like that same on the other side just along the top make sure you've got a kind of you know generous amount because you're sticking together sort of wool and fibers and they're not they're not like the most ideal things to stick together so you want plenty of glue and then just drop your wing pipe cleaner onto the wings like that so make sure you're happy that they're all the the angelina fibers in contact with the pipe cleaner and the glue all the way around um, if you are putting a book on top put something on top of your um, glue because obviously it might come through and you have a pair of dragon wings stuck to the back of your book so put another another piece of plastic or whatever you're using over the top of the wings and then the book on top of that hold it flat for a few hours um, to let that glue dry. It's quite a thick layer, so it can take a little while. Sometimes you might have to let it dry a little bit and then take the book off once you're happy that it's stuck and then let it dry fully. Um, and that's how you're making your wings. Um, once it's dry, you might need to trim. Um, oops, try and keep that in one piece to show you. Um, you may find that there's a little bit of Angelina fiber poking out from the um, pipe cleaner it's fine to just trim that off and then I use the the side of the wings that you don't see so much um, so on this dragon the, the sort of underneath of the wings there is where your um, glue is but because it's kind of hidden underneath the wings are more facing outwards with the pipe cleaner showing rather than the glue. So that's the best thing to do. And you may notice that your dragon's eyes are different from um, this dragon's eyes. These have been kindly made for me um, moments ago by Steffi. So thank you for that, Steffi. <laughs> um, the the eyes for your, your dragons have not arrived yet. So hopefully they will have <laughs> by the time you watch this video. Um, thank you for watching and um, I hope you enjoy making your chickens this month in the live streams. Um, 
to all of those of you who are making them. Thanks very much and I'll I'll see you soon. Bye.